गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक इट्स ऑल फ्रोजन और काफी ठंड है it's me Sean the deep sea man and today we're going to talk about how do we start up how do we warm up SHPS the hydraulic pressurized system for your second fuel system in ambient temperatures that drop pretty low the hydraulic temperature must be 35 degrees before the pumps can start up on their own there is no preheater there is no uh, space heater there are there are no electric coils in the tank provided to do this so we need to open the recirculation valve start the pumps and gradually increase the displacement of each of the uh, displacement control valve for the pumps in this way we will circulate the oil so this circulation of the oil in, under pressure will increase the temperature and remember this takes i think almost an hour from 3 degrees to 37 38 degrees centigrade so follow this procedure i'm sure you will find this in your manual but this video is like a show and tell so you see read the manual and follow this video for guidance so let's go kulfi jami padi hai bahar hey good morning and welcome back so here is the procedure to start up your hydraulic pumps and warm up the tank when you are in a really uh, low ambient temperature for now you we are about ambient is minus 5 degrees minus 4 degrees so we'll go to the ambient uh, we'll go to the hps hps right now is just 3 degrees celsius at 3 degrees the pumps will not start and even if they do uh, they will not respond like they have to so man bmw man es has set the limits at 35 degrees centigrade for this particular uh, parameter so to increase this parameter we need to put all the pvus into the test mode it's pretty simple to do this put them to test mode and once it's done we will activate uh this valve the heater control valve we will open the heater control valve manually from the mpcs and after that we will increase the current of this variable displacement valve so that and start the motor so that we can uh, circulate the oil just right here and raise the temperature because of the circulation once the temperature rises up because of the circulation at about 36 37 degrees we will go back Uh, slowly reduce uh, the current and then stop the motors and turn back the system to auto okay so our uh, the mpcs the pvu mpcs have restarted into the test mode so i'll just go to them looking at uh, maintenance i'm uh, system output input view we select the pvu control unit number 1 we go to channel 85 and we turn on the logic from right there by turning this logic on we will open the heater control valve and that will circulate the oil just from tank to the pump and back So let's go to PVU CU2 to start the pump. Okay, so this one we start the pump. So hydraulic pump will start. So we can confirm the hydraulic pump starting. We can see the discharge pressure has already risen here. That means the pump has started. So now slowly we will have to increase the discharge pressure of each of the pumps. And you see the heater control valve is open, and so this will be this circuit here. So let's go back to the maintenance pump number two. Well, it's time to start pump number two. and start the pump number 2 and once the second pump is also started so we need to increase the value we will increase the displacement of the pump by about 0.3 uh, milliamps at a time so it is 4 is the minimum 4.3 and apply that will increase the discharge pressure of pump 1 and the set point the discharge pressure set point for pump 2 we will also increase that one and now we can observe the pressure at the pv hpu pvs it will increase gradually so we have both the pumps running so this will recirculate this oil and increase the temperature hold on for a minute and every minute increase 0.3 till we get about 150 bar and that will increase the temperature the oil system oil temperature and let us start this hpus otherwise below 37 degrees we cannot start the hpus okay so now let's again increase the set uh, the displacement set point 0.3 milliamps at a time remember that don't exceed that value otherwise that can just overload the pumps because the oil temperature is very low and very low temperature is very high viscosity which can damage your pumps be careful take care you are responsible for your pumps you are responsible for the operation do not miss out set the current at about 8 milliamps 8 milliamps we are getting about 133 bar so i think maybe 8.3 or 8.6 milliamps should do the job our temperature has come up to 14 degrees and 13 degrees by each of the sensors let's go back we will increase uh, the current to 8.3 pump 1 8.3 pump 2 and let's observe the pressure the pressure is 133 this is the pressure what we are seeing so it's been about uh, half an hour 30 minutes we've increased this 
uh, we've started the pumps and recirculation and from 2 degrees we are up at 15 degrees so remember this takes a while so you can't just start off and expect the system to start directly so we are again back uh, look at the current what i've set at it's channel 70 the my set current is 8.3 for pump number one the set point for two is also 8.3 so at 8.3 milliamps uh, i'm getting about 147 bar so my requirement was 150 bar now it's just a matter of wait and watch till the temperature rises it's 8 35 a.m so let me see till i get 37 degrees 35 degrees is the limit i mentioned earlier 37 but it's 35 degrees is the low temperature uh switch for the pump to start back and the system to start back in auto okay so you remember that the pressure was 150 bar and the temperature was 17 degrees or 16 about 16 to 17 degrees now just look at the pressure is 138 bars our current setting is still the same 8.3 milliamps and it's 18 and 20 degrees now so remember viscosity has dropped that's why the pressure has dropped because the temperature has increased so now we need to still go back again to maintenance and need to maintain that 150 bar so i give back an increased 0 0.3 milliamps so remember temperature and viscosity are always related okay, so we've reached the desired temperature we wanted 37 to 40 degrees but we've gone up a little bit more because it's really cold outside the ambient is about uh, freezing or just below freezing maybe about minus three or so so now time to put back this system to normal so let's go to maintenance uh go to each wait before this go to each of them bring down the pressure uh with this bring bring it bring down the bring down taps bring it down to slowly slowly bring it bring it to 0.3 at a time yeah apply this will immediately change go to the other pump uh, second pump is channel 71 so keep doing this to both the pumps till we come down to 4 milliamps as 4 milliamps is the minimum reading so we bring it down to 4 milliamps and after that we put the MPCs the PVU MPCs back to the normal mode just as a reference while we get the uh, the current down we will just have a look at the pressure yes the pressure is also coming down that means uh, our valves are working and the system is in good condition let's do this so we are down to 4 milliamps for both the pumps we'll go back to pvu pressure is back to 8 bar which is about uh, the idle running pressure then we go back to maintenance and change each of these to normal mode by pressing the test button press the mode selector uh, restart into normal mode and can we do that for all of the pvus this one is restarting as you can see from the status you go to the next one normal so when uh, this current red diagonal lines are there on the screen it means that particular mpc is not available in this case because the system is restarting they are rebooting just like a computer so they reboot uh, into the normal mode and then uh, we will get there it takes about four to six minutes depending on uh, the ram installed on the system so about four to six minutes uh, they will get they will reset and come back to the normal mode so for right now another view what you see this shows as blocked because it the power has restarted but the system is not completely online okay so pvu cu1 is online as you see this one also has the status change back to online we're just waiting for number two to come back online as you see it shows normal and number two will be online in a few seconds uh, sometimes you do get this alarm it says the app not running on pvu2 so we just restart it once more we put it to test mode let it restart and put it back to the normal mode once again if this doesn't happen yet we have to actually do a hard reset by pulling out the power plug we hold on for a minute or so and put back the power plug back in so let's see what happens at this scenario okay so to reset the pvus you need to come to this cabinet the pvu control cabinet find the right pvu and then you can just pull out the power and then put it back on so this is pvu number two number two I mean this is number three that we looked at so here's number two to pull out number two you just have to pull out the power and put it back in power cable off and put the power back in so that will reset the pvu to pvu cu the pvu mpc number two it will reset the pvu and then uh, and we should have power to pvu number two and we can start this with the color of the led indicates whether the mpc is running or not a green led means the mpc the software is running and all in all order the orange light that means something wrong 
or the system is rebooting and the MPC will come online in a few minutes. So after we've reset, we've physically done a hard reset for the PVU CU2. Now we have the green tick and that's uh, as normal. So remember, if you have issues with the PVUs, with any of the MPCs, the first thing you do, you try to reset it from the screen. If not, you go there physically, disconnect the power, hold it off for about two to three minutes and then put it back on and it'll come back on. It'll restart by itself. So it'll, it, the orange flashing light means the PVU is coming, is restarting. Once it's green, stable, that means the PVU, the, that particular MPC is set and ready for action like we see here all ready for action and time to hit the gas so that's it for now take care stay safe bye bye and do share and do spread the love cheers